this was a unique game in that your team usually plays so solid. And today they didn't do that for whatever reason, but what's your thoughts on what happened today? We are human. We are human beings. <laughs> That's what happened today. Uh, got to absolutely give credit to Louisiana. They played well. They pitched well. They hit the ball hard. They did everything they needed to do. Um, they deserve to win 100%. We knew a game like this would be coming at some time. Um, I don't know that we were ready to have it happen here, but it <laughs> happened. So um, nothing was good enough today for us. I mean, we had the spirit of coming back which was great, but from defense to pitching to timely hitting, we wasted a lot of time early in the game. Um, this was a game we didn't deserve to win, and we, <laughs> we know how to come back. I know there's too much pride on this team for us to mope around over it. We're going to come back and be stronger. We've shown that, and uh, we're made like that. When you look at also running errors on second a couple of times too, just w when stuff like that happens, it's so uncharacteristic. What happens to try to like get back to the dugout and center the team to shake it off and keep rolling? Um, it's just a, a, maybe being overly aggressive, things like that. I mean, it wasn't for us not, I mean, that's what it was. It's Jada leaving early, pants and trying to get a good jump to beat it at third. I mean, so um, we learn, we learn. Um, it, it's not <coughs> by lack of effort. It just maybe isn't the smartest thing at that time, but you give Louisiana credit for seeing opportunities to, you know, they're watching Jada. Nope, nobody watches Jada. They just, you know, so they, they got us on that, a good pick that, you know, the catcher doesn't really do much of that. Um, so they caught us off guard they caught us sleeping at times um, and they were just timely with what they were doing um, it was impressive it was impressive I'm curious Kenzie and TRA I'm curious what your thoughts are on what happened today and how the game went today Kenzie. Um, I think coach is exactly right we didn't we didn't do anything to deserve this game um, credit to Lafayette they you know they came ready to play um, we didn't deserve to win but um, this game doesn't define us. Softball doesn't define us. And I'm excited to come back next weekend to see what it looks like. Yeah, I think it's just going to make us even that much better. Um, we knew that wasn't us on the field today. So like um, Kinsey said, like just get back at it this week. Keep working hard. Come into conference with a bang. And I mean, it is what it is. We just keep moving forward. Kinsey, you guys dealt with that pressure all last season with the winning streak. But then this weekend was the different element with the opening of the new field and mm -hmm. Patty said Friday no excuses but how emotionally draining was this weekend honestly we the f tough day was the first day when we opened it after that I thought we settled in pretty good obviously today was very uncharacteristic um and really that's that Terry like coach said you guys bounced back in a huge way last year what does that process look like though from today to Wednesday and then on into the, the weekend for, for you two specifically as kind of the co-captains? Um, I think today it's just getting some rest. Um, Pearson Deal's been baptized after this, so we're gonna go and celebrate her and celebrate that. At the end of the day, that's the biggest win of the day that we could possibly have. Um, so just go have fun in that moment and then this week just reset, hit a really hard reset button, but also just keep grinding. I mean, this week we're gonna grind like no other and I think um, just kind of look in a mirror, like where do we want to get to? How can we personally get better and just go from there? Patty, could you clarify what happened with Ella in the bottom of the fifth and what was the call there? We were out of the running lane, so it was obstruction or interference by the runner. That's where the contact happened. If she was one step over in the running lane, she would have been safe. So it was a crazy game like that, lots of controversy. Is that, a, uh, is that a situation that if you had the safety bag at first, you could have run, run straight through, or is that just something that – Weird thing. I don't. I, I'm not an advocate for the safety base, so I'm, it is what it is. You just get caught up in the moment. You're just trying to get there. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on your pitching staff right now? What you know, like today and throughout the week. Where do you think it's at right now? I don't think they had the best weekend, and I'll readily admit that to you. I mean, um, 
I don't know. I do feel that there was a little bit of pressure this weekend on everybody, really. But the pitchers felt it. Um, it's uncharacteristic for them to give up the amount of home runs and give up runs, period, at times. So, again, we're human. And <laughs> to be on the streak that we're on is just unbelievable, ridiculously unbelievable. And we take pride in that, but it's over. And we knew it was going to end. It's just when. And so now we can just kind of let it go and get back to work and go back to who we are, which is blue collar, hardworking, hustling, grinding type team. Kenzie and Tiara, it took a little bit for the offense to get going. What specifically did Chloe do that was so you know effective early in the circle? Um, I thought she was doing a good job spotting her pitches. Um, she was spotting that low curveball pretty well for both lefties and righties. Lefties were... Um, we just were taking good pitches, honestly. There's, we didn't, our offense didn't, we weren't ourselves today. And um, I think when we are, it would be a different outcome. Yeah, she said it right. I mean, she just, again, the curveball's in and out. Um, there was some good moments that offense did have, but I think just came too late. Um, and times like that, it's just hard to get going. Um, but we just took too long to adjust. Um, but all credit to their pitcher was good. Just we weren't, we weren't good enough to beat her today. Pat, you've often said sometimes it's just good to get back out, make a catch, get a hit. So I'm going to guess you can't wait to get back to practice tomorrow or Tuesday whenever you're going to get back out. Uh, no, I can't wait because we're tired. <laughs> we all need to take a break. I mean, and, and it's no excuse. Listen, we flat out got beat. We admit that 100%. There's just a lot of dramatics this weekend, and it started before our first game. And just the emotions and and the wow factor we're all feeling, and you know the fans coming. It, it's it's like the World Series. It's what it feels like down there. And I don't know that we knew what to expect. So I think we just we know now, and we're ready to go. Just regroup, but we need mental and physical rest.